Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Kingdom of Greece. In the last episode, we launched our attack on Switzerland and Portugal, and defeated both Switzerland and Portugal. Um, and we have begun justifying a war goal against Finland, and we are setting up a naval invasion of Finland using our marines. So, hopefully that will launch shortly. We are also taking our mountain infantry that we used to knock over Nepal, Bhutan, and Tibet, and I am transi uh, transferring them over to South America in preparation for knocking over um, Ecuador and Peru and Bolivia and Chile and Argentina and so forth. Um, so once they're over there, we will get to work on that. So, that is good. Now, a couple of things I took care of before starting the recording. Um, one small thing that I'm not even sure anyone would even notice is I moved one division from the Mountain Infantry Army to the Light Infantry Army um, and converted the Light Infantry just to, you know, even out my numbers so I didn't have, like, 49 here and 61 here. So, just a bit of, uh, you know, OCDing there. Um, and... The other thing I did was I went in here and I queued up um, infrastructure construction for everywhere. So we're going to build up the maximum infrastructure in every single state that we own um, as we proceed. So that means my construction queue is pretty long. Very, very, very long. But, you know... Infrastructure does not take that long to build, so we should roll through that pretty pretty quick, I'm hoping. And once all that infrastructure is built, then we've got a lot of defensive structures to build. So, a lot of work to do. Alright, let's just go ahead and unpause it, let's get things moving here, because again, we are pretty much just in a waiting game. I'm um, waiting for this... Uh, war justification to finish, waiting for this invasion to prepare. Um, the rest of this army should be heading over there. I think I have all, all 60 divisions on that line. I do. And do I have... Oh... Not quite. We don't have everything we need. Uh, let's just get my subs. All of them. Because why not? Ah, mechanized equipment three. And then let's tell them to patrol here, here, and there. There we go. Uh, let's grab night vision two. Might as well do that. And that means I need to go in here. And I need to switch all this mechanized equipment that we're building up to mechanized three. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Would have liked to have not lost that much production efficiency, but it'll be fine. Does it tell me how long it's going to take? No. No, it will tell me how many of these I'm building, right? 191.8% per week. But we've got 12,000 of the twos and 6.7 thousand of the ones in storage. But the threes are going to go to replace uh, what's in the field at the moment, and then uh, that'll bring all the uh, obsolete equipment back into storage. But we are definitely going to need, like, very large stockpiles of equipment. Even the obsolete stuff. 
Yeah, it looks like we have enough for another army. Alright, so let's bring this down to 12. Let's bring this down to 12. Alright, and then we're gonna take you guys. And make you an army. Get you a commander. And give you a color, which I guess we're gonna go with... Um, a... That'll work. That will work. Some point we're gonna have to start splitting up theaters. Where are you guys going? They're going down to this port? I guess that is the closest port to transfer over, but that's a bit strange. Oh well. Whatever. So, we're at 56 to 210 days. And when is this justification going to be done? Uh, 7th of September. Okay, actually, that's coming up pretty soon here. But this is not. Okay. Why didn't they just use that port? You've got to be kidding me. You're going to go all the way around here to that... Uh, okay. Move these guys from the battle plan. Deploy them here. We're going to do this manually. That's just ridiculous. They're going to take months and months to go all the way around here just to get to a point here. You know, which, you know, in terms of actual distance from here to here is not that much by water. They need to work on those algorithms, I think. The pathfinding uh, algorithm. I understand that it's trying to protect... Um, the units by making them march through friendly territory. Rather than risk transporting over water. Where it's potentially hostile. But we're not in war right now, so... It should prioritize the fastest method of travel while not at war. And the safest method of travel while at war. Alright, how does our supply areas look? We're okay. Alright, good. We just got three more medium armor. We're up to 10 heavy armor. Oh, and we got 20 more of these uh, light infantry. So let's go ahead and throw them in there. And where are you going? Yep, we're calling for war against Finland. I think at this point, I'm just going to let that guy walk. All 
We got troops on ships moving over to South America. September 7th, so three more days and then we can declare war. And then not much is going to happen um, as far as the war goes. Um, because we have our fleet out here and there's no way they can do anything. Um, they won't be at war with Germany or Sweden and we're not calling Germany and Sweden into this war. We'll take care of ourselves. Yep, justification is complete. Let's go ahead and declare war. All right, we declare war on Finland. But we still have... Oh, now it's down to 171 days. 75 to go, so a little under 100 days to go before our naval invasion. Oh, that, you, actually no. The reason why is because we took 11 divisions off the plan, which makes it take less time. As soon as we reassign these divisions to the plan, it'll go back up to 210. And the game performance is really starting to suffer with, with as many divisions in the, uh, you know, live on the map as there are now. Alright, so now we should be back up to 210. Yep, up to 210. I'm going to try and speed it up. I'm not sure if running at speed 5 is even going to help much. Was it the performance drop at speed 5? You know. Hurts our ability to actually move the time forward. So we, we are starting to get some troops over here on the Ecuadorian border. So I'm actually going to start justifying a war goal against Ecuador. Because that's going to take some time. January 24th. Let me pause this here while I actually set up a offensive uh, for Ecuador. There we go. Engineering Company 4. Oh, let's see, that's going to be done. I'm not worried about the MPs. Mercy, please, suppression bonus. Um, I'm not that worried about it. I'm not that worried about this either. Let's see, we're working on that. Oh, paratrooper threes. Let's get that. Because we are using paratroopers. Alright, what's the supply look like? It's not bad, actually. Almost overloaded, but we should be building infrastructure here. Yes, that's in Meta, right here, and here. So this is actually almost done. One more level here, and it'll be up to ten. Three more levels here, it'll be up to ten. And what's slowing things down? Previous 
infrastructure in the Windward Islands. Really? Why are we supplying through the Windward Islands? Why are we not supplying through, like, uh... Through the level 10 naval base here? Okay, that's goofy. That's not my territory, is it? Do we own that? Vichy France owns that. Okay. Alright, how are things going here? 112 out of 210 days. I think 60 divisions are going to be more than enough to take on Finland. So, I mean, right now, they have very little on their actual border. So I'm guessing that's probably most of what they have. Probably there's a few defense units in their victory points, but it can't be that much. Now how goes these conversions? This one's almost done. I think I did queue up a few more of those. Yeah, this infrastructure is almost done. Here, here, and here. And as these get done, the civilian factories move down. Ah, strategic destruction. All right. And let's go ahead and grab Ford Interception. Oh, looks like I have enough for another army here as well. Again. Oh, we just want this. Give that guy his new army another commander. And a new color. So I'll go with that. All right, what are we at? We are at 135, 136, so 210 days. We're at the 572 total divisions in the field. Oh, we got 20 more of the light infantry. We're going to keep piling that up. We're going to need tons of that. Alright, one thing I also am thinking about here is exactly what the process is going to be for fighting the Axis. We're going to want to take out these little pieces here pretty quick. What I'm thinking, you know, that piece here, take out uh, take Albania. This little piece here that belongs to Vichy France. Um, this little piece of Mexico and probably this area of Central America are going to have to go pretty much right away. Um, pushing through Canada shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, recon campaign. 
And Jet Tactical Bomber 1s. Alright. Not Recon Campaign, Recon Company. What am I saying? Um, we don't need anything here. I have no interest in battle cruisers. This is done. Jet Tack Bombers are definitely going to want those. Uh, we're working on that already. Uh, that's done. So let's go ahead and work on the centimetric radar. Not sure we're going to do these free dockyards. I'll put them on the carrier. A convoys? It's the only thing I can think of right now. And these military factories are being converted at the moment, so... Once those conversions finish... What are we at? 157 of 210 days. And let me look at my supply. Supply is a little... A little strained, but not bad. They are suffering a little bit of attrition. Previous bottleneck on the Windward Islands. Why would we supply the Windward Islands? We have a big old level 10 naval base sitting right there. They could definitely handle the supply throughput and maxed out infrastructure over here, so... Uh, maybe it'll readjust those when the game reloads at some point. Alright, so... What I'm thinking to do is initially is to make the major campaign at the beginning of the war with the Axis to be over here in Asia to absorb all the rest of mainland Asia here to basically er remove this as a front. Um, with this front removed and that allow us to push things forward more. Um, Maybe even go all the way and take Japan out completely. Um, just you know, because of the all all this frontage is going to be the problem. And with that, then we can you know, push up here, and then we can start you know squeezing through Germany. I mean, we might knock out Hungary real quick. I'm definitely going to be kind of pushing, in general, through Africa as well. It's kind of a secondary front. And we're going to try and take the British Islands as fast as possible as well. 179 of 210. And this is what? January 24th? So one more month to go for Ecuador. Peru. There's 40 divisions just sitting right there. We're probably going to need to send another army over. For Peru. And we'll see how it shakes out. It might be actually some of these guys that we send over there. It's 
Supply looking in my home territory. Supply is looking perfectly fine in my home territory. On one thing... I might do... Is take these guys and start exercising them. Logistics on that should be fine. Because a lot of them lost a lot of their experience when we converted them. So they're like green. Ah, night vision 2 complete. 198 of 210. All right. Um, anything else we need to work on? Uh, this is pretty much done. This is pretty much done once the paratroopers are done. Uh, this is done. I'm not going to worry about super heavies. Um, this is mostly done. I mean, I could work on the rocket artillery. So the rocket artillery is really good soft attack. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'd fit it in. That's almost done. Once we get jet attack bomber twos, pretty much all of our naval and uh, close air supports are getting converted to jet attack bombers because uh, they can do both those roles. This is done. Improved rocket engines. Might as well go ahead and get improved rocket engines. I haven't really built strategic rockets, and I don't know if they've been fixed. 27 divisions. I need to take them, add them there, and move them that way. Oh, I didn't mean to move them over the water, but hey, that works. Alright, what are we at? 204 of 210 days. Toad anti-air is apparently negative. But that shouldn't be a problem. It's just a matter of getting them up to, uh, I think, like, regular. And then we're, we can stop that training. One more day. They are ready. Alright. Let's go ahead and launch the invasion. Alright, so just a matter of uh, getting those guys over there. Oh, and our justification of on Ecuador is done. So let's just go ahead and declare war on Ecuador as well. Declare war, send. And you launch your battle plan as well. Oh, they counterattacked, really? They only attack with one division? Can you guys just launch that attack? That would be better, yes. Guys are moving. They will 
I'll be there momentarily. All right. So, Ecuador. It looks like their capital has fallen. And that country should be annexed here in pretty much just another minute. As soon as my troops get into this and this section, that'll be it. Actually, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this army, I'm gonna split it in half, Split it in half, 45 divisions. Yeah, we'll split it in half. 45 divisions, give you a commander. Uh, let's give it like a gray color. We already have one that's gray over here, but that's fine. And then you guys get yourselves set up on a front there with Peru. Oh. That's right, we actually need to make that guy a field marshal. There we go. That's more like it. All right, Ecuador is done. Take all states. End turn. Done. And then you guys set yourself up on the front with Peru. Nope, nobody's going to join the war. All right, where are my Marines? There's my Marines. They hit the beach and then they need to grab a port. Where are you guys going? Now that isn't insane. That's not insane. One of the one of those previous ones was insane. We had to inter intervene. All right, looks like we actually got more free dockyards. We'll just go ahead and dump that into some more convoys. That tends to become a problem when we have large forces overseas. Oh, actually, one thing I did want to just double check, make sure that no nothing's changed. Just make sure that there's nobody trading any significant amounts of steel. No. Germany is closed, the British Reich... Our British Empire is closed, German Reich is closed, Japan's closed. They're all closed. So no. We cannot trade for steel. Alright, so that's 15 points. That's one, three, one. And I think. I think that's all their victory points right there. Well, it's over that one. Oh, I have like 50 some odd divisions in like a single, a single stack. Well, that is taking Helsinki, so. Are these guys on aggressive? Yeah, they're on aggressive. Hold on. Let's put them on a more balanced approach. All right, let's let's take Helsinki and let's see how it plays out. Let's see if that's sufficient.
and it doesn't look like there was quite enough. Uh, let's see, current wars. They're at only 61% towards capitulation, okay. All right, so what we're actually gonna do here, we're at the 35 or so minute mark. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna continue our attack on Finland and hopefully uh, force them to capitulate and conquer their country. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna do here about Peru. Actually, let's just go ahead and start justifying war against Peru for now. I guess that's going to take some time. Let's see. Uh, 22nd of June. Yeah, that's going to take a little while. Hopefully enough time for these guys to get in position. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.